The Pepperidge Farm Organization makes 220 billion goldfish a year. In the Denver, Pennsylvania bakery, we make 55 million pounds of goldfish annually. It's about 20% of the total retail production of goldfish in the United States. Goldfish started in 1958 when Oscar Cambly, who is a Swiss biscuit maker, and when I say biscuit, I mean cookies and crackers, decided to make a gift for his wife. His wife was a Pisces, and he decided to make her a fish-shaped cracker. Late 1959, 1960, Margaret Rudkin, the founder of Pepperidge Farm, she went to Switzerland and fell in love with these little fish-shaped crackers. So there, she decided to work a deal out and license them and bring them to the United States. Where it launched as a, an adult snack, but she saw the potential in bringing this forward and, and really making it a kid's snack um, and really making it live in the hearts and minds of kids. Goldfish, when they came out in 1962, were initially marketed as a bar snack. This is the container for restaurants and hotels. Uh, the best part about this is it's still full, which blows my mind, and uh, I'm afraid of opening, so I never will. As goldfish got more popular and they got promoted more, kids also started being more interested in them. But then eventually they were so successful we kept going, and the 90s saw goldfish become really just like a part of our culture in so many different ways, and that's still going strong. The primary ingredients in goldfish are flour, real cheddar cheese, and then we have a special proprietary seasoning blend that really makes you know, goldfish that flavor profile that everybody's looking for and loves. All the ingredients are brought into the mixing process. The dough is then leavened for a period of time. Once it's sheeted, it's going to be laminated, which is a process of putting multiple layers of dough together. From there, it will be sheeted to a final thickness. It will be cut into the fish shape that you know. That will include both eyes and smiles, as well as the fish without. We do have about 40% fish with eyes and smiles in your bag that you eat every day. From there, it'll actually go into baking. It'll bake until it hits the, the appropriate specifications for the finished product. So this, this part of the system here is actually forming the bag. It starts out as just like a roll of film. And that's the outside roll of film. That, that is what you see, the graphics that you see up top. I would say on average, the, the length of that process is probably eight to 10 hours. So the original five flavors of goldfish were lightly salted, cheese, barbecue, smoky, and pizza. Today we make 40 different flavors and package type combinations for goldfish. Here in the Denver Bakery, we make 14 different flavor uh, goldfish. In the past few years, we're starting to turn back towards flavors that are a little bit more like adult which sounds strange, but like, you know, spicy, like Frank's Red Hot, you have Old Bay, you have Jalapeno Popper, you have the Megabytes, all of those. So it's like kind of like working that middle ground, which is really nice. I have two toddlers, they love goldfish, and I also love goldfish, so it's really fun. 